from my and uh, that's why it's such a late live stream. We got down here, we got the camper in the yard all leveled out today, but like, you know what I'm saying? We wanted to, we wanted to do something with the camper. So we went to my mom's house. If uh, you're not watching this live, stay tuned, watch it not live. We're gonna be talking about, um, I make sure the laptop's muted. We're going to be uh, talking about A Basin and how good it was because we made it to opening day, reopening day, Arapaho Basin. I hope you guys liked that video. It was a ton of fun. And um, you know, I know I enjoyed riding. And the vlog is dropping tomorrow. So be ready for that. I did top to bottom. Dude, the conditions are prime at A Basin. Being sweaty, dude. I hope you had a sick day. Uh, I have not. Sean Roman, 0 and 3 so far in the lotto. Me too, 0 and 3. But uh, I will be back after the weekend. I, I figured, you know, the, the lotto is going to be crazy for the weekend. For the opening day, over 4,000 people entered to, to go. So um, I will not be going today. But if you do the, if you enter, enter for me too. You know I'm saying? If you enter and you do two people, because you can enter and say you're going to bring two people. If you you win, I'll go snowboarding with you because it's going to be that hard to go to a basin. So if any of you guys win a, a lotto and you have a, a, you can bring a person, bring me, I'll go DM me on Instagram. And if, if I don't answer right away, keep spamming me, hit me one of the top messages. Cause I'd love to go rip with you and uh, got to Got to get those lottos. It, they're so hard to win. I hope the lottery system disappears soon because um, I want to go. Uh, but dude, we have everyone here right now. Dude, Greg's here, Nathan's here, Jonathan's here, Jonathan's sick name, Sean Roman's here, Ark is here. Ark's going to snowboard camp. Are you? Enter snowboard camp, top link in the description. Come snowboard with me and Tommy. We want to help you become a better snowboarder. There's no lottery system at, at Mount Hood. So uh, uh, sign up for snowboard camp and come work with us. We get to help you become a better snowboarder. When think and you don't have to ride park to go to snowboard camp. I mean it's park oriented, but we're gonna cover carving, we're gonna be covering um freestyle riding, all that stuff. Trust me, you're gonna wanna go to camp. You don't don't have to be an incredible park rider to go to snowboard camp. It killed me, and I, I mentioned it in the vlog. You'll see. Uh, go really fast. Pick your nose up. And we talked about a bunch. He just moved back to Colorado. I'm so hyped on that. Oh, Val, I'm sorry you didn't get a notification, dude. I'm happy you made it. Guess what? I finished my homework. I still have to to do reading, dude. Val, I'm bummed that you're still in school, dude, and you have homework to do. Despite doing online, that, that's rough, dude. I'm sorry. Jake, what's up, man? Um, the Lord our God, congrats on the baby, dude. Oh, what's good? So hyped I got to ride the A-Bay. You got to ride? No way. Dude, I, if you DM me, I didn't check it. Send me, a, send me a text message about it. Let's talk about it. Am I the only one lagging? Now, we might be lagging. Um, what are you? You Wi Fi in my mom's house, I can connect the phone to Wi Fi. But I don't know how that'll do with me already being live. Um, speed right now. Hold on. Can daddy see for a second? Hold on. I gotta connect the phone to the Wi Fi. Mommy. Mommy, 
I think that's going to work out. Oh, man, I messed it up. 719. My idea is if it seems like it's still pixelated. I was gonna say if I can get Roman off of the Wi-Fi. Here you go. Here you go. I get Roman. We live? Did that fix it? Possibly fixed it. We're in a camper, camping, trying to figure this out. Let's see. I think we did it. Yeah, if you one is super early in the morning, they will let you know. I don't know. When did you get the email reservation? When did you get the email reservation? Daniel, so I didn't win the email reservation. My buddy Sean Oz did. Cool. We're doing so much better now that we're connected um, to Wi-Fi. We look so much better. Cool. Sorry about that, guys. Thanks for sticking around for the live stream. That was a super, I guess, Bobby just hit the camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so the way it works is you got to enter the raffle two days in advance. So if you want to ride, what is it? If you want to ride on Sunday, you enter it tonight, 7 to like 9. You have like, Right now is the time to enter. So you enter now, no. and they'll email you tomorrow morning if you won, and you can go snowboard on Sunday. That's how they do it. We got our first super chat of the night from Air on Snow, or Air, or Air on Snowboards. Aaron, the man, the myth, the legend, the three dollar super chat, bro. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. As always, dude, drop the super that. chat. I appreciate you. His evolution has evolved from the little monkey to the taller monkey. Aaron, dude, thank you so much that. for the support. I can't. I'm, in, I'm on the. I'm talking to everybody. You can go though. Go say hi to grandma. Live from the camper, right, Austin? This is our first. I finally get to sleep in the camper. I'm so excited. Um, so definitely wanted to make sure we still went live. Um, had a little bit of technical difficulties in the beginning, but we're back. We're up and running. We're not in the home, the the safety of our home, but we are. We're out here. And dude, Sean Roman, five dollar super chat with his hippos, dude. I appreciate it so much, man. Thank you for the um, the hippos, and then. Uh, Roman's grandma is in the super chat or, or is in the chat and she, um, we'll be seeing her tomorrow or one of these days this weekend. Then Austin dropping his notorious $2 super chat. Austin, thank you so much for the super chat, bro. Dude, Austin supported the channel next level, showed up and helped me change my brakes. So then when we tow the camper, we know we're nice and safe with some fresh new kicks on the wheels. Guys, thank you so much for the super chats. As always, you guys are notorious for all three of those donations. So thank you. Uh, for supporting the dream every single live stream. You guys are so heavy. Uh, what does your setup look like, Jonathan? You're saying like outside the camper? We will, at the end of the live stream, I'll take you guys out of the camper and let you guys see what it's looking like. If it's not too dark. It might be too dark. The sun's going down. I'd have to do it now. Do you guys want to see outside the camper? You want to see what? I don't know. I don't, maybe showing you guys my mom's address and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'll put a photo on Instagram. That's what I'll do. Uh, dude, Dan the Man Ryan's here. Skiing Sweeney said, for the best chance for a base and have multiple people in your family enter. It's not, it's not a bad idea. Uh, I skied a basin on Friday in March. The very weekend Colorado shut down all the resorts that followed Monday. TD, dude, I'm stoked that you got a last day in at a basin. My last day before then, then they shut everything down. It was that Loveland ski area. So technically, I got closing day Loveland. Uh, dude, Josh Archer. Dude, Josh, thanks for the super chat. I'm stoked that you're on the live stream, bro. I know you've been crazy busy, so I'm happy that you're here. Uh, yo, Jonathan, love you, bro. Can't stay, but had to support my dude. Josh, you're the man. I appreciate it. Uh, honestly, I, I was worried about the gas um, driving down here. I was like, man, it's going to be a lot, probably a lot of gas. I'm getting better at like putting the can or the car in the right gear with towing and going uphill and downhill and all that stuff. And like, we did really good with gas uh, on the way down. So I was really stoked on that. And then Steven, dude, uh, Steven, Steven Mendoza, and his, his name says Do Doza. That's so sick. 
Donation here for the dream, dude. Thank you so much for the five dollars super chat support in the dream. Guys, all super chats, merch, purchases, anything like that. It does support the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a large sticker giveaway, which I need to, I will have to get it live tonight. And I've been trying and meaning to get that la the giveaway live for Greg because Greg's sponsoring the giveaway. Um, I've just been so busy the last couple of days. The, um, what's it called? Uh, just dealing with everything for the A Basin thing and then pumping out those extra videos. Like I posted an extra video this morning. Um, and then getting the camper ready to come down here and all this stuff. I just had a lot going on. It's been a, it's been a pretty hectic stuff, but always hectic. And then Broken Mountain Biker says, are you in the Springs? I am down in Colorado Springs. This is where I grew up. I'm actually in front of the house that I grew up in for a decent part of my childhood. Uh, I'm looking at a tree that I built a tree fort in and it was like, it was the sickest tree house ever. Tree fort. It wasn't a tree house. It was a tree fort. Um, would you guys be interested in a, a Colorado Springs meetup, by the way? How many of you guys are in Colorado Springs? And if I did do a meetup down Colorado Springs, would you go? I have a, uh, an old school friend who just started a business and I thought it'd be really cool. They, they, he started a food truck and I thought it'd be really cool to do like a meetup and the food truck be there. Maybe even get the ski off to come down. Could be really cool. Take a step forward. You're going to be on the live stream. You better say hi. You look like you're running around like crazy. I don't know what your dog scraped on, but she got bird poop all over her back. Oh, Shelby's covered in bird poop. Dude, puppies, man. Puppies in their puppy brains. Kill me. Dude, Weekend Warriors with the $4 super chat. Thank you so much. You guys gave me so many tips on the camper, and I truly appreciate it. Uh, Bobby Purse Fund. <laughs> Let's go. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Because you were definitely in frame right there. Oh. I um, don't know how to get off other than... Yeah, Bobby wants that purse. That's <laughs> so uh, how I told you the real price. Boston Celtics purse. 10. Jonathan, is the snow at a basin good? Plenty ongoing yeah, if selected. Or plan on going if selected. Do? Snow at a basin is great. It becomes super slushy mashed potatoes. And if you do not have a late season wax, uh, you're going to be grabbed and slowed down in some of the flat spots. For the most part, though, the coverage is amazing. Like, you're not going to be running into rocks or anything like that. Um, oh. Just make sure you put warm weather wax on your snowboard. Russell, dude, what's up? I got closing day at your favorite Keystone. <laughs> dude, good thing Keystone closed down. Not joking. Uh, dude, I love Keystone. I just, I know they're going to do something in the future that's going to break my heart, and I'm just never going to go again. I really feel like they're going to get rid of Area 51, which is a heartbreaker for sure. I'm going to go inside. Uh, Chris says, the short video is Shall this morning play? was good. They should get you on the slopes for that. Dude, Chris, I think Shall I could have got on the slopes Shall for a media pass. I don't think I could pull it every single day be like, yo, guys, everyday media, put me on. Um, I don't think they would do that. But I think first day I could have gone snow for media pass. Do you guys see that? I'm sorry to point this out. My, is it this? Yeah, my hat. I have the little circle thing still on my hat. I got like a glare up here. Dude, live from the camper, dude. I'm I'm am hyped on this. Broken Mountain Burger said, "I got closing day at work. Ha, ha We got had no idea till nine that night that that was going down. Dude, I'm bummed that you missed out on it. Dude, it was it was pretty hectic. Uh, I can't believe my buddy Sean won. Out of four thousand people, he got one of the tickets. Like." Dude's lucky. I, I think he's got good karma for that. Spicy Chicken Nugget, what's up, dude? Can I see the dog? The dog is outside the camper, and Bobby's trying... She, like, rubbed up on something, got filthy, so Bobby's trying to clean up the dog, which could be a mess. Um, I need to come to a basin. Dude, RX Fly Fishing, you do. Everybody needs to go to a basin, but sadly, they have it so limited, which is a bummer. This is the first night in the camper? Yeah, I'm so excited to sleep in the camper. Are you excited? Totes. Totes. <laughs> she, uh, she's definitely excited. She's like, we have to take this camper out. I was like, dude, I agree. Um, it's just going to be a little hard for us to take the camp. It was going to be hard for us to take the camper out in Boondock because we still don't have a generator for it. We actually still need some stuff for the camper, and the camper wish list should be linked down below if you're interested in helping support the dream. 
Uh, Russell says, um, I'm hoping to build that lift up to Birmingham. I'm hoping to build that lift up to Birmingham Bowl, but my head would explode if they're they out. Oh yeah, okay. So Russell said, um, I'm hoping they build the lift to Bergman Bowl. So if you saw the video of me riding the Keystone Cat Tour, all that terrain that I was riding in that video, they want to put a chairlift to it, which I think is a great idea. That's a lot of awesome terrain back there. Uh, it really would open up more acreage for Keystone, which is kind of needed uh, with how busy it is. But yeah, if they got rid of Area 51, dude, it's like blasphemy. It's such an iconic park. It's so legit. It's like the perfect spot for a park. It's literally, honestly, I think it's one of the most amazing parks out there. And I've gone to a lot of parks. And I'm not being biased because I like grew up riding Area 51. Like it's an amazing park. But if they got rid of it, my head would explode too. I'd probably, I'd probably start a, a fun like hashtag bring fun back to snowboarding. And my goal would be to buy Keystone Resort and to put the Area 51 lift back or park back. That would be the goal. That'd be the mission. The camper is so fire, dude. I appreciate it. I'm so hyped on the camper. I cannot wait to sleep in it. I'm really excited to see if Roman actually falls asleep in his bed tonight. He never sleeps with us, but I, I have a feeling tonight he's going to need to like hang out with mom and dad until he dozes off. And then when he dozes off, we'll put him in his bed. And then hopefully he stays. I, I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, sorry about the yawn. Steven said, Jonathan, have you tried riding the one wheel um, pint? I've never rode a one one wheel. I really want to. They uh, their marketing whoever their new marketing manager is is killing it because they're making one wheels look so fun. Broken Mountain Biker said I work or work was Ski Cooper, so I still got to ride. No way, dude! Ski Cooper is the best. I really do love Ski Cooper. It's like my getaway mountain. Ralph says I feel like Bobby should replace you for something new. Val, you want me to replace, dude? That hurts, man. You want to replace me? Saying I'm getting old. Dude, Russell, dude, thanks for the $5 super chat. Russell is also a member, dude, so thank you for supporting the channel. Hardcore, he said, I'm 0-3 on the A Basin Lotto. I need to go Team Huckhouse Karma for the win. Dude, I'm 0-3 too. Thankfully, my boy Sean Oz is 1-1, one one, and he got us on. But yeah, dude. The Team Huckhouse Karma, because dude, even TJ won, which I was like, TJ won and Sean won. I was like, dude, you guys are, how'd you do that? We had such a sick uh, opening day. TJ from Board Archive posted his vlog already, so check his video out. My, But you still got to watch my vlog, which is posting tomorrow. Does A Basin have anything in their park right now? No, Kyle. So A Basin tore out their train parks, and they also roped off their cornices. So I think a part of the deal for opening up is the terrain they opened had to be low risk. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't open anything that was high uh, risk or whatever. So even though he's doing this section to the right that had these sick rocks that we were riding. Um, and then later in the day, they put up these signs that said, like, this area closed. Sorry about that. So I have a feeling that they... Um, you're not allowed to ride any extreme terrain. They're only groomed, mellow runs. They did have the bull open, though, but still, that's pretty mellow. Robert says, love your videos, bro. How was the snow conditions at A-Basin? Dude, the snow was super slushy. Make sure you wax your snowboard with warm weather wax or you're going to hit some slow spots. And um, but other than that, the coverage was amazing. The snow was just so sick. Jonathan, are they actually talking about Area 51 closing? Is that the rumor? The rumor is, yes, that they're going to, and I don't know when. They said when they were going to do the Bergman Bowl thing. But yeah, the idea was they're going to, make that area 51 section all beginner runs it actually used to be that way um but then they put in the most amazing train park of all time and keystone was super sick then veil bottom and now it's going downhill weekend warrior says uh and get rid of the yellow jackets when they when you buy keystone yeah 100 percent. i'm gonna buy keystone rebrand it it's not gonna be the family resort because there's no family terrain on keystone we're buying Keystone. We're making Area 51 the sickest park, sicker than copper. We're getting rid of Yellow Jackets, and we're going to rebrand Keystone as the epic resort. Not like epic as in Vail, but like actually the, well, well, the sick resort. Everyone from Denver that's a sick rider will go to Keystone for the sickest riding. 
Russell said, dude, I put my reservation for two, and if I win, I'll DM you. Yes, Russell, do it. If any of you guys uh, are going for a base and you, and you go for the reservation, put two people, and if you win it, DM me. I'll go snowboard with you because I need help. And then the other thing is you're helping out the channel. You're, you're making the vlogs possible, at least at a basin. We'll ride together. I'll film you. You don't have to film me if you don't want to. It'd be cool if you wanted to as well. Help make a vlog. Could be a, the sickest time ever. The apple juice right next, or uh, right there that I was drinking one of those today, but mine was a minion. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Roman. So these things are awesome. They're like $3. They come with apple juice in them, and then we keep the cups and the the things, and we reuse them. We haven't had to buy Roman a sippy cup ever. We just use these things, like reuse them. Balling on a budget. Spicy chicken nugget said, "Dang, I was just gonna watch a movie with my friends on Netflix party, but then I then they all bailed. Ah, oh, spicy, I'm sorry, man. At least you can hang out with us. We're not gonna bail on you." Jordan said, and what I watched for when I was buying used snowboard, what should I watch for when buying used snowboards slash ski gear? Honestly, Jordan, just a lot of wear and tear. If you're buying a helmet, make sure there's no bumps in it. If there's any concaves in a helmet, that helmet's probably trashed because most helmets going to take one damage. With the snowboard, you're really looking for no popped edges. So like you'll follow the edge down and if you see a crack that There'll be one one joint mark. It's usually by the nose. That doesn't count. But in the on the side, like your heel edge, your toe edge, even on skis, like your your sidewalls or whatever, there's a little crack in that edge. It means you popped an edge, and over time that will um, separate and cause a bubble. And then obviously core shots or anything like that. Uh, goggles. I would say don't buy any used goggles. Just get Outdoor Masters for forty dollars. The freshest goggles in the game. Linked in the description. And then jackets and stuff, I would just normal used clothes gear, like what you would do for normal clothes. Uh, typical with Bale Resorts. Yeah, dude, they, I have a feeling. This is, this is just a guess. I'm just, I have a feeling. So Vail got hit pretty hard by this COVID thing, obviously. So their budgets, they canceled all their projects for next season. That's all postponed. Everything's got to get back to normal, everything like that. I could see all Vail resorts, any resort owned by Vail, toning down their terrain parks, if not even building them as to, to save money or to be caught. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it will be an issue with terrain parks next season, other than Copper Mountain, who's a boss, and they build the sickest terrain park. Uh, Maney Gibber said, Area 51 used to be the place. It's funny that Copper has taken over. Dude, I've literally watched the Copper Takeover, and it has started with the Yellow Jackets. The Yellow Jackets started pushing people out of Keystone. Because um, the park was still sick, but the people couldn't stand all the Yellow Jackets. You should call it the Evolving Resort. Ooh, Val, I like it, dude. I like it a lot. Hi, Tommy. Dude, Evan, with the $2 Super Chat, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, I wish I... I wish I would have been at a bay dude a basin was fire i wish you were there too bro it would have been a really good time thanks for the two dollar super chat man you're always dropping super chats now i appreciate it broken mountain biker says they have some awesome mountain biking gosh dude the live stream yawns I'm, i apologize they have some awesome mountain biking super technical not manicured like winter park but i like tech good to know i would say i like flow like mellow mountain biking at the point i'm not that good as i get better i might like tech yo tommy what up tommy's in the house and r star's here how we doing r star mike's here taylor dude taylor you've come on strong recently on the channel i'm stoked that you're enjoying the content what's your favorite resort to ride at i have so many favorite resorts it honestly depends on what i want to go ride and do um but when looking back at this last season, the resorts I really enjoyed riding at, Telluride blew my mind. I drink an energy drink or something. Telluride blew my mind. Um, I really liked, um, it was in Minnesota. I can't think of the name. There's a tiny resort in Minnesota that was fire. And then, um... 
I can't think of the name at all. Afton Alps, I think it was in Minnesota. Afton was amazing. They had so many chairlifts. And then uh, I really like Kirkwood in California. Out of the Colorado resorts, I would say Breck has more to offer. It's just it's one of the harder mountains to ride. Like, there's so many people, parking is a difficult situation, like, things like that. Surprisingly, I live in the area that snows all the time. I'm almost never, and almost never has summer, so I'm sad that I can't snowboard. Dude, I'm sorry, man. Hope one day you move where there's a bunch of snow and you can go snowboarding. Copper is big on snowmaking. Yeah, dude, they make a bunch of snow so then they can p farm it and do their summer park. Tyler said, hey, Jonathan, I'm thinking of going to a basin from Florida for like two to three days to ski. Is it worth it in about two weeks? Tyler, I don't know because if it's if you got to get reservations, you could come out here and maybe not even get one. So I would say make sure you know what's going on with the reservations before you come out. In two weeks, they should still have decent snow and you could still ride. These yawns, dude, they're killing me. But right now, like I, I have I've entered the giveaway three times and I've, I'm 0 for 3. Or not giveaway, the reservation raffle. And so if you came out and tried to ride two to three days, there's a chance you'll ride zero days because you didn't get a reservation. So I don't know what it's going to be like in two weeks, but I think it might be the same. Uh... Urzi says, you're the, you're from Minnesota, right? If so, what's your thoughts on the craziness going on up there right now? So, I am from Wisconsin. I'm not from Minnesota. I'm a, I'm a cheese head. But uh, my thoughts on that, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna comment on. It. I don't want to get political, at all. It's not what this channel is about. Uh, but I just hope everyone's safe. I know it's a big mess, and like obviously, um, uh, yeah, we just want. I just hope everyone's safe. Weekend Warrior says, uh, how many boards do you go through a season with as much riding as you do? I'm usually a board or two. Like, I definitely need a new snowboard at the, the next season. Sometimes two. Thankfully, I don't, I don't trash snowboards that, that hard. I could be more rough with them, but I actually do a decent job of taking care of my snowboards. Mm -mm -mm. Brody Mountain Biker says Copper also got the old park builder from Keystone a few years ago, and then the park started to really take off. Dude, Broken Mountain Biker knows his things. He's he's not wrong. That is so true. Once the Keystone Park Builder went to Copper, that's when it was like the final straw. Everyone was like, Copper, that's the place. My only issue with Copper is all the coaching, and I know my buddy Tommy's a coach, and he coaches athletes there. But you just want to roll up and ride a park and rip the park, whatever, and then there's just like 9,000 coaches and 9,000 coaches teams and like people dropping, and like you want to do lines, but there's seven kids waiting to hit one rail because their coach is watching them, and it's just kind of like, I don't know. The vibe, too, is different with all the coaches because a lot of kids are being really serious. I don't know. There's a weird, it's just weird. It's different. Megan, what's up? She said, dude, what snowboard boots do you recommend? I have some cramping eight-year-old boots, or crappy eight-year-old boots. Definitely get, I would argue the snowboard boot is the most important gear you have when it comes to snowboarding. So I recently, I'm riding the Ride Cadences, which are female uh, boots, and um, they're amazing. So I ride a size, I'm a size seven men's, and so... That's like the smallest men's boot you can get. So to go a size down or to get it nice and tight, because I pack my boots out like crazy because I go snowboarding almost every single day. So um, I I went into female size boots and it changed my life. My riding was so much better mainly because of my boots. So I would argue that your snowboard boots are the most important uh, piece of gear you can get. Check out the ride cadences, by the way. There's also, ride makes a really solid boot. Burton makes the good boots. Uh, 32 makes some good boots. Kyle says, do you think Copper will still make their summer setup? 
I think they they have already pushed it. The 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 chunk of snow they're going to use for the summer is there. It's whether or not they're allowed to use it. So right now there's a bunch of weird stuff on with kids camps. Like if you're a kid, um, like camps can't like do kids things and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So like there's some weird stuff going on with that. That's a big reason why no one can go to school and stuff. So most stuff for kids is closed down right now. Is a reservation raffle only available day prior to riding? If selected, can you apply a week ahead? No. So it's only two days in advance. So you can only apply for two days in advance. So if you want to ride on Sunday, you got to apply tonight, which I think it closes in an hour. So then, because today's Thursday? No, if you want to ride on Saturday. So if you want to ride on Saturday, tonight's you got to enter now. So it's, tomorrow's for Sunday, and then I'm going to be applying to try and go on Monday. So if you want to ride with me on Monday, apply for Monday. But yeah, if you're at, it makes it really hard for people that do not live in Colorado to get their tickets. Lendog says, I got my reservation for Timberline tomorrow. It will be my fourth time getting a reservation. Let's go. Uh, uh, Lendog, dude, do you guys have a raffle system too? Or do you just got to go on the computer and be like one of the first? Let me know. We are, Timberline is where we're doing our snowboard camp, by the way, guys. It's going to be sick. Uh, Comic says, how many people ride Steamboat? I would think a bunch. Steamboat's very popular. Broken Mountain Biker says, uh, yeah, I lived, I, I've worked at Copper and I'm pretty sure they make more snow than anyone in the state. They also start early for the races that main, or that train there. Yeah, dude, Copper makes a ton of snow. Their early season train park this year was amazing. The north side of Peak 9 is usually super chill, even when Breck is packed with people. Yeah, the only part problem with Peak 9 is it's not... It's just not that sick. It's okay. It's just not that sick. Uh, I've ridden Steamboat, but it's been a while. Dude, Steamboat's fire. I really do like Steamboat. There's a lot of cat tracks, though. So until you really understand Steamboat, dude, you can end up being on a cat track a bunch. Steamboat's super fun, but it's mostly good blues, not a lot of extreme terrain. Yeah, they, they don't have a ton of extreme terrain, but the stuff they do have on a powder day can be pretty fun. What's your favorite resort in Minnesota? Dude, Highland, dude. How could it not be the crazy, insane Highland? Uh, yeah, Steamboat got really good powder this year. Dude, I had, I think, I for sure had one sick powder day at Steamboat this year. Are big boards good for powder? That's a that's a mistake. So a lot of people and like back in the day, people were like, oh, this board's too big for me. It's gonna be my powder board. Like that's not true at all. So I would I would argue your normal snowboard setup, the normal way it is, is perfectly fine for powder. I've done I rode powder for like like that for years. That's how I learned how to ride powder. Riding powder, it's not about the board you're on. It's just about you learning how to ride powder. You don't need this huge snowboard to ride powder. My powder board is smaller than my normal snowboard. So now I do have a powder board with like the fishtail and everything like that. The thing about that snowboard is it's not really meant to like, it, yes, it cars powder different. It's more of like a surfy style. But for me, the reason why I like a powder board on a powder day is be, it, it allows me to ride powder like long. I get less tired. It takes less effort. Um, but dude, your normal snowboard is totally fine. Powder boards make it hard to do tricks. So, like, if I was going to go to, like, hit a backcountry jump and, and land in powder and all that stuff, I'm going to ride a normal snowboard. That's why all the pros do it, too. They ride normal snowboards. Powder snowboards make it hard to do tricks. But, yeah, I would, just because you have a big snowboard, I would not say a bigger snowboard for powder. Either get a powder snowboard, a board designed literally to just ride in powder, or ride your normal snowboard. Mike says, I like going to Strawberry Hot Springs whenever I'm in Steamboat. That place is so nice. Dude, it is actually sick to get up there. The road's a little treacherous, though, to get up to Strawberry. Uh, are you going to do more mountain biking riding? Yeah, Tyler, dude. We're definitely going to bring out more mountain bike videos. You guys are really liking them. I've been meaning to go reply to all the comments on the last couple of videos. Uh, I think I said earlier, I've been super busy, but 
Um, I'm stoked that you guys are liking all the mountain bike videos. What would you think if I put 200 reservations down for you in your name? Don't do that. Do not put that many reservations down in my name. First off, um, they're, one, they're deleting uh, repeated reservations. So if you do that, they're just going to delete them. Two, I don't want to be spamming them and then getting blocked from going to a basin so don't do that um yeah that wouldn't be cool only enter the reservation if you can actually go snowboarding and all i'm saying is if you are going snowboarding uh and you, you're gonna go by yourself and you don't want to go alone put your reservation for two and i'll go snowboard with you if you win it also helps the channel out because i can only put one reservation in for myself so if you put one in, if three of you guys put it in for the same day, I want to go. That's four chances we get to go snowboard and make a vlog. Is that the camper that you're sitting in? Yeah, dude, we're in the camper. I'm hyped. First night in the camper. I cannot wait. Come ski the southeast. Sam, What? where's the southeast? Is that like down low, like North Carolina? Uh... Land Dog said it's going to, uh, it's a go on the computer and be quick at 2 p.m. Oh, it's a go on the computer, be quick at 2 p.m. before the day. They had, they had it on 500 people at, but Palmer is getting a huge repair right now. By Dolph okay, Landon, so there's no, it's not a raffle, you just got to be ready. 500 people, that's a low amount. I mean, we're only 600, so, dude, I get it. Dude, Elsvaldo with the $10 super chat, dude. Thank you so much. Can't stay long, but sick to see you hit a basin. Was thinking about signing up for a raffle, but I don't know. If I do, I'll put your name down. Elsvaldo, put your name down. Because the way it works is you put your email, your name, and then you just say, yes, I'll abide by all these rules. So, Elsvaldo, if you do, put two people. If you win, man, I'll come rip with you. It's going to be fun. Um, but, yeah... Don't, don't everybody feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it to be like that. I want, I want, if you're going to win and you can bring me, bring me, don't put reservations down for my name. Um, cause I, I just don't want it to, you know what I'm saying? Cause if I wanted, I could make like 10 emails and do it that way, but I don't want to be that dude. That's all though, dude. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. It's going to be 89 degrees Fahrenheit here tomorrow. Oof, that's hot. I think I dovetail, I dovetailed, or I think a dovetail would help more than a big board, but I could be wrong. Like Jonathan said, I can't really do tricks. Yeah. So like a dove, like, yeah, like a little like short tailed powder board is going to help you Rip powder longer in the day, it's gonna make ripping powder easier, but you, like doing any trick, like jumping in powder, all the stuff, like all that becomes way harder. My home resort is Keystone, by the way, uh, Angela. I did not grow up in, I was born in Wisconsin, I grew up in Colorado, so my home resort is in Colorado. Mike says, LL, don't spam. Yeah, guys, I don't wanna be associated with spamming. Dub 180. What's up, dude? How you been? Haven't seen you in a while. So, what's up, dude? Jealous you got a camper to cruise around in. I'm hyped on the camper. Once again, this is not for like weekend getaways. This is to go and make sick content for you guys. This is our first night. We took it down to Car Springs, a super chill spot, to um, to test it. You know what I'm saying? Test the waters. Uh, but uh, the using this as a tool to make you guys better videos is going to come soon. So, be ready for it. Skate vlog. Kyle... Skate vlogs do terrible. No one watches them. I also am terrible at skating. But Roman was really into skating, so maybe we'll do a skate vlog with Roman. You should come to Seven Spring Resort in PA. I'm down. I'd love this. I, Tyler, I want to go to every resort in the United States. I think that would, would be super sick. What GoPro do you use? Dude, I use the GoPro Max for everything. I'll go grab it. It's right here. Uh. This, this is the camera to get. I even threw like a bunch of evolution like defects on this thing just to like, I don't know, tat it up. I don't know. I was bored. Um, 
the GoPro Max, which this should be like this, protect those lenses. This is the camera I use to make every video I ever make. This like since, when did I get this thing? Like the middle, like earlier, like, yeah, like right around Telluride, the Silverton trips, we switched over to the Max. This is the gimbal killer. I will make that video. This thing is the gimbal killer. This is linked in the description. If you need a, if you need a new GoPro, only buy the Max or the new one coming out. Oh, Token Tof, dude. That makes sense. Burger Mountain Biker is Token Tof. That's why you know so much. Uh, so you coming to Highlands Ranch. Super simple stuff. Uh, I'd like to go to Highlands, Highlands Ranch. Oh, super simple stuff. To go mountain bike with you. Yeah, we got, we, I emailed you back about that. We gotta, I gotta look at the email. I haven't, I haven't checked I haven't been on my phone in like the last three days. I haven't even made an Instagram post in I think a week. Um, it's amazing how easy it is to fall behind. Ever tried, or wait, Osvaldo dropped a super chat. Let's get to this Osvaldo super chat. Thank you so much for supporting the dream Osvaldo. Always dropping stuff. You should have told me you were in the springs. I would have showed you how to back up the rig 18 wheeler. Dude, not going to lie. I could use some help. I got it kind of where we wanted it and my we parked it in my mom's front yard <laughs> we were gonna put it in her driveway but she's got this um pine tree but like she hasn't trimmed it down or whatever and i was like dude it's gonna scrape the crap out of the camper's roof and stuff like that and her yard she doesn't her yard's okay it's just it's not the best yard i was like can we park it in the yard and she's like only because i love you and i'm happy you're here <laughs> i'm like all right mom but i wanted to park it on this side of the of the yard and I ended up on this side of the yard but it worked out. We're level. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, Osvaldo. I need to take some backing up le uh, lessons from you, though. Bo, re Bro says, you ever tried surfing? I've never surfed. And no joke, Michael the Ski Doctor is jumping in his van, driving out with Dan's beard, or driving out to California to meet with Dan's beard to go surfing. I'm so jealous. I would so try that. I feel that park half pipes are just ice sometimes which sucks for me uh comics park half pipes are always meant to be ice by the way um an icy pipe is how it's technically supposed to be so if you want to be a pipe rider sharpen your edges move your forward lean up and get ready to rip some pipe uh but yeah pipes are always icy they're supposed to be that's a big reason why i'm not a big fan of pipe um and my edges are normally not the super sharpest things and yeah sam says i got you with tickets if you come to wintergreen resort in virginia i'm down sam dude we might we might do like a winter road like a, a winter camper road trip to the east ish could do the whole east coast that'd be that'd be gnarly i gotta get this four season it's not there yet though how much is it to snowboard at keystone for a day tyler i think it's 180 or more to snowboard at keystone for a day it's pretty expensive did you ride with TJ today? Not today. I rode with TJ yesterday. It was fun, dude. TJ from Board Archive. We had a sick time riding. If you ever make it up to... Brundage or Bogus Basin, let me know. I'll film. Jordan, I'm down. I want to go to Bogus Basin next year with Stacker. I think that'd be really sick. Is the Apple Mac computer that... Is that an Apple Mac computer you're using? Yeah, so this is a 2012 iMac, and it's slow and buggy, and, like, it's not bumped up or juiced up at all. I need, I no joke, I truly, truly need a new computer. Um, my editing is probably, my editing probably takes an hour to two hours longer because I'm on older computers. That's something, that is an investment that I need to make. We got, but it's getting me by, like these get this computer is gonna get me by this weekend, but I do need a new like I need new computers, uh, for sure. I I just need a new MacBook, like a very beefed up MacBook that's gonna survive for a while, and it needs to be a MacBook because I need to be able to edit in the camper on the road and stuff. Me and Bobby were talking about it. Maybe well, I can talk to her about it this weekend. But um, like Apple and Best Buy, a bunch of these bigger retailers offer like. Uh, there's ways we can get it with 
payments and things. I think that's how we're going to get the, the iMac. Biggest tip is don't oversteer. Take your time backing up. Dude, I, was, I, try, I try so hard not to oversteer, and then I lose where I'm at. And then you scared the crap out of me. It's dark outside now, and Bobby just comes around the corner all fast and just stares. I'm, like, ah! I'm almost done with the live stream. Okay, good, because your mom needs your help. My mom needs my help, all right. She finally has one of her sons to come over, so she has like a whole list of guy chores to do. Well, the like fire pit, like propel thing, like... Propane? Yeah, your awesome brother-in-law turned it way too tight. Ah, okay. I uh, got my jacket, so ignore my Okay. Broken Mountain Biker says, Pipes are so weird uh, because the sun hits them and it melts. Usually one wall is softer than the other. Yeah, Broken broken Mountain Biker slash t Token Tope. You're not wrong, dude. The pipes, usually the, the, the wall that's soft is the one that I can air out of. And dude, Mike Van, Mac Fun, thank you so much, dude, Mike, for the $10 Super Chat for the Mac. I appreciate it so much, dude. That's the only reason why I'm able to get stuff like this for the channel is you guys supporting. So, like, the way it works is obviously I got to pay the normal life bills. Um, and then all of the other finances go right back into the business so we can keep growing this and making it bigger and better for you guys. So, dude, I appreciate the $10 Mac fund, bro. You're, you're an amazing person for that. We'll get the new Mac soon. It's, I mean, it has to happen. All right, start. Have a good night. I can't believe you still have school. Man. Big Boulder, Pennsylvania has some of the sickest parks. Dude, I hear Big Boulder's fire. Matt Mini Inchy rides there, so we'll have to check it out. Uh, super simple stuff, man. I'll check my DMs, bro. Later in the day, both walls will set up super hard overnight. Oh, yeah. Early morning is when most pipe people like the pipe. Tyler says, when are you going to make an evolution stomp pad? Tyler, I need to, I literally have the text message. I need to write um, RJ back. The biggest thing with that is just um, I don't need the stomp pads today. So, like, my focus on them is kind of been toned back. But I'd love to have stomp pads for the beginning of next season. I think that'd be sick. How long will the A Basin stay open? I think we'll get to the end of June. I think we can get to the end of June with what they have. It all depends on the weather. How much do crash pants cost? I think a good pair of tr crash pants will probably cost you around $60, maybe even $100. Um, I have some crash pants linked in the description. Just go check out that link and you can see. Party Guy Techno. I'm going to answer his question. I'm going to jump off this live stream, guys. I got to go hang out with my mom, help my mom out, as well as Bobby and Roman and everything. Thanks for showing us what's going on. I wish I could go up and shred, but there's no way I'm winning that lotto. Dude. Don't say there's no way. You'll never know. You could get lucky. But yeah, it's pretty hard to win the lotto. If you do, put my name down and I'll go ride with you. All right, guys, I'm going to end the live stream there. Thank you so much for jumping on. Thank you for all the donations. Um, a, a super sick vlog coming tomorrow. Uh, Tyler says, what mountain bike are you riding? It's the Rocky Mountain um, by I don't know who. But guys, thank you for jumping on this live stream. You guys are so sick. I appreciate, uh, appreciate it. First night in the camper. Really excited. Uh, I just wanted to say too to going live with you guys and um, overall just thank you for jumping on. I love talking with you guys. Uh, dude, the vlog tomorrow. Don't miss it. First vlog. A Basin reopening day. Uh, it was a really good time. We wrote TJ and everything. All right, Team Upcast, thank you so much for hanging out with me and as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. Uh, snacks and merch. You guys are